glycolipid as the name indicates glyco it means type sugar moiety in the structure which is sphingosine carbohydrate present in their structure which is other than fatty acid and glycerol now the drive lipid which qualify the general criteria but can't be grouped in upper classes as compound lipid or simple lipid so these uh, are uh, come under the class of drive lipid which are basically the type of lipid which form by hydrolysis of simple or complex or compound lipid by hydrolysis so this this group include fatty acids glycerol cholesterol steroid hormone fatty aldehyde fat soluble vitamins prostaglandins bile acids or bile salts let us see the different sub classes of simple lipids lipids like fixed oil fats and waxes are ester of long chain fatty acid and alcohol and the closely related compounds the chief differences between them is the type of alcohol in fixed oil and fat glycerol is a type of alcohol combined with fatty acids whereas in waxes the alcohol has a higher molecular weight such as dial if you talk about the component of uh, fat and oil so it has two kind of molecules glycerol is a type of alcohol with hydroxyl group on each of its three carbons and three fatty acids which are joined to this uh, glycerol by dehydration process since there are three fatty acid attached so these are called triglycerides let's see here glycerol and three fatty acid resulting triglyceride here the r which are attached with fatty acids these r group can be same or different or only two can be same as far as fatty acid structure is concerned so fatty acids are the basically carboxylic derivatives of long chain hydrocarbon means it has carboxylic group and hydrocarbons and no other functional group are present its carboxylic group is water loving or hydrophilic and the hydrocarbon group is non polar component and hydrophobic in nature so we can say that it is the linear molecules of carbon of 10 to 20 carbon in length which is even number carbons and the tail of fatty acid is long hydrocarbon chain making it hydrophobic in nature and the head of its molecule is hydrophilic in nature because of having carboxylic group so this structure is basically important for soap uh, formation so it is the main component of soap where the tail are soluble in oil ethers and their heads are soluble in water to make its action as emul uh, for emulsification and wash away the dirty oil however when it, the head is attached to glycerol so the whole molecule become 
the whole uh, molecule the uh, molecule then becomes hydrophobic because the had is attached to neutral in case of lipid structure this is simple uh, reaction to fatty acid so formation and here we can see the hydrophilic end of carboxylic group and hydrophobic tail of fatty acid which is hydrophobic means lipid soluble it is uh, the lipid soluble so it means yeah, they can uh, they can uh, wash away the dirty oils that's why it is important in formation of soap the fatty acid can be of different type depending on their situation saturated fatty acid means no double bond is present in the structure mono unsaturated fatty acid mono is one so one double bond is present in their structure poly unsaturated fatty acid having more than one double bond in their structure see the structure it is glycolic acid four carbon containing fatty acid and it is saturated fatty acid because of having no double bond in their structure similarly oleic acid that is mono unsaturated fatty acid having one double bond whereas linoleic acid which is poly unsaturated fatty acid because of having two double bonds more than one that's why poly unsaturated fatty acid three dimensional structure saturated fatty acid mono unsaturated fatty acid double bond two and three double bond are present in these two structure that's why it is poly unsaturated fatty acid There are few examples. Here we can see a few examples of uh, common saturated fatty acid includes acetic acid, acetic acid, palmitic acid, and stearic acid of twelve, fourteen, sixteen, and eighteen number of carbons respectively with no double bonds in their structure. That's why they are grouped in saturated fatty acids. Now the unsaturated fatty acids, as we told, as uh, I told that in unsaturated fatty acid, one or more than one number of double bond are present. So in oleic acid, eighteen number of carbon with single double bond is present. That's why it is mono unsaturated fatty acid. Whereas Linoleic acid, linoleic acid, and arachidonic acid with two, three, and four number of double bonds representing them as poly unsaturated fatty acid. Linoleic acid having eighteen number of carbon with two double bond. Linoleic acid eighteen number of carbon but three number of double bonds. And arachidonic acid with a twenty number of carbon with carbon-carbon double bond, which is twelve, which is a uh, four, and that's why linoleic acid, linoleic acid, and arachidonic acid are grouped as polyunsaturated fatty acids. Let us see few examples of uh, with sources of these. Fatty acids, maristic acid, maristic acid present in butter fat and coconut oil, having fourteen number of carbon. Palmitic acid with sixteen number of carbon are blood, beef fat, butter fat, and cotton seed oil. Stearic acid having the source blood, beef fat, butter fat, cotton seed oil. 
arachidonic acid is present in peanut oil mono unsaturated fatty acid palmitic palmitic uh, which is uh, which include palmitic acid and it is present in cod liver oil butter fat folic acid having 18 number of carbon it is present in blood beef fat olive oil and peanut oil polyunsaturated fatty acid includes linoleic acid with 18 number of carbon having the source cotton seed oil soybean oil and corn oil arachidonic acid with 12 to with 20 number of carbon having the source linoleic seed oil different other source can also be available because of pentanoic acid with 20 number of carbon present in corn oil and seed oil or can be present in animal tissue because of hexanoic acid with 22 number of carbon present in fish oil and other sea food so this all about this lecture and its uh, further detail we will see inshallah in in our next class thank you so much allah hafiz